subscribe to our YouTube channel, Joy Learning TV. Bienvenue. Aujourd'hui encore, nous sommes ici pour l'apprentissage de la seule langue vivante dans le monde, qui est le français. Welcome once again to the only place where we learn and play. That is the Joy Learning Channel. And that is where we have the chance to learn about the only living language in the world, which is French. Je suis Patricia Abuchi, votre facilitatrice. And I am Patricia Abuchi, your usual facilitator. De quoi parlons-nous aujourd'hui? What are we going to talk about today? I know you are wondering. You are anxious to find out what are we going to learn? What are we going to learn? Yes. But before we, or I tell you what we are going to talk about or learn today, nous allons regarder aux ces images pour deviner ce que nous allons apprendre dans cette leçon. So we are going to look at an image to tease you or to test and see if you can have an idea or take a guess of what we'll be learning today. We have some images on our screen. Yes, I know you know the name of this place. Can you guess? Yes, yes, I can hear. I can see someone or I, I can hear someone saying, Akramo, very good, Akramo. And I know you lovely kids like to go there a lot. When daddy and mommy say, today we are going to the Accra Mall, you will be like, wow, isn't it? Yes. So, the Accra Mall. And can you tell me what we do at the Accra Mall? I can guess someone saying, we go there to window shop. Good. Someone also saying, we go there to what? To play, good. Someone will also say, we go there to watch what? Movies, good. And someone says, we go there to buy or shop for items. They are all things we go to the Accra Mall to do. Another picture. Can you guess the name of this building or the name of this place? The Marina Supermarket, yes. That is another big shop where we go and then some will go and play, some will go and window shop, some will actually go and then shop. And the last but not the least picture on our screen is the West Hills Mall. Very good. So it is also a shopping mall. Where all you go and do in the Accra Mall, you can also do as well here. So all these places or these malls are places we can go and then shop. We can go either buy them actually or to go and then find out if they have them or find out the prices at which they sell them. And I believe this Christmas or the recent Christmas past, you made trips to these places. Am I right? Yes, I know. You forced daddy and mommy to take you there. So with these images, can you guess what we are going to talk about today? Nous allons parler the marchandises et leur mode de présentation. So in today's lesson, we are going to talk about goods or the things that are sold in the shops. And then apart from 
that the goods, we are also going to look at the mode of presentation of these goods or these items that are sold in the shops. So that is what we are going to talk about. And we are going to talk about this in a passage. Yes. So we'll be able to identify some of these items and their modes of presentation from the passage we'll look at. So after this, by the end of this lesson, you, my lovely kids out there, should be able to read and understand the passage and then be able to answer questions based on the passage as well as go home or, in fact, gain some vocabulary to use in your daily conversation. Now, the title of our passage is Madame Blé Fait les achats. Madame Blé Fait les achats. So, Madame de Blé goes shopping or goes to do her shopping. Now, it's a reading comprehension. So, we are would like you to read silently. It would have been purposely silent reading. But for the sake, sometimes I know our younger siblings also join. So for the sake of our younger siblings, who need to also learn some of the words, I'll read. Okay, yes. So we are going to read the passage. But before I come in with the reading, I would encourage you to read the passage, which will be projected paragraph by paragraph and try to get an idea of what the passage is about. So we'll take our first reading, which will be silent reading. So you read silently the passage that will be projected paragraph by paragraph to get a rough idea. Good. Now we can go to the second paragraph. Try to get an idea of what is being said in the paragraph because it's being projected paragraph by paragraph. So you get an idea of the first paragraph, what it's talking about. And then this is the second paragraph. So try to also get the idea in this paragraph. Make the effort to read. Good. Now, the third paragraph. In order for you not to forget the ideas in the first and second part, try to jot down something. Now, the third paragraph is on your screen. Try to read and get a rough idea about what that paragraph is talking about.
Good. Now the fourth and final, I think, part of the Très bien. I believe now you have had an idea of what the whole passage is about. Good. Don't get worried if you came across words you didn't understand. And that is the essence of reading comprehension. When you come across a word you don't understand, jot it in your book and you look for it after the, that is if it's exam, you'll not get the chance. But if it is in your, what we, for example, what we are doing now, you jot it down and look for the word from the dictionary or the internet and then you jot it down and use it in your day-to-day -day language. And that is where the word will become part of you. So we have had a rough idea about what the passage is about. Good. So if you didn't jot down any word you found difficult, try to jot a word down. Take your notebook and your pens if you haven't, and then jot down the difficult words. Now we are going to read the passage for the second time. Nous allons lire le passage pour la deuxième fois. So the title or the heading is Madame Blé fait les achats. And we have the first paragraph. Don't get discouraged when you meet the words and you are not able to understand. Don't get discouraged. Read on. Now the next paragraph on our screen. Très bien. The next paragraph. Okay, and then our final 
paragraph. Very good. Now, I believe you have identified some new words you have never met before. Yes. Good. Now, we are going to discuss some difficult words or some words that we call very important or key words in the passage. All the words are important, but what our objective is about, we will need or will get from these key words. So we are going to look at these key words, try to find out their meaning, and then after which we will come back to the passage, after which we will be able to get the passage clearer. Nous avons les mots clés, et ils sont... Paquet de sucre. Paquet de sucre. We met it in the passage, right? Yes. So, paquet de sucre is what? Packets of sugar. Packets of sugar. Nous avons aussi bouteille d'huile. Bouteille d'huile. That is bottles of oil. We also met this in our passage, didn't we? Good. Next we have boîte de sardines. Boîte de sardines. Boîte de sardines is tins of sardines. Tins of sardines. On now see tablette de chocolat. Tablette de chocolat. So the tablette simply means cubes of what? Chocolate. Cubes of what? Chocolate. And I know you kids out there love chocolate so much. Yes. Nous avons aussi tranche de la viande salée. Tranche de la viande salée. And that is pieces or chopped Pieces of what? Salted meat. Viande salée is salted meat. Nous avons sachet de haricots blancs. Sachet de haricots blancs. That is sachet of what? White beans. Haricot blanc is white beans. You know the beans we eat, we have different types of beans. So this haricot blanc is white beans. Now sachet de haricot vert. Sachet de haricot vert. That is what? Sachet of what? The green beans. So this is how the green beans looks like. Sachet de haricot vert. Nous avons aussi sachet de haricot rouge. Sachet de haricot rouge. That is sachet of what? Red beans. Red. So we have the white, we have the green, and we have the red. Nous avons aussi litre d'huile de palm. Litre d'huile de palm. That is liters of palm oil. Latest of palm oil. Et nous avons aussi kilo de riz. Kilo de riz. That is kilos of what? Rice. Kilos of rice. Now, 
for the purpose of our lesson, the mode of presentation. Remember we said, apart from identifying the items we sell in the shops, we are also looking at their modes of presentation. So for example, the mode of presentation of sugar is what? The paquet. Paquet. Then, the mode of presentation of the oil, the cooking oil, is what? Bouteille. Bouteille. Then the mode of presentation for the sardine is what? 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 Then for the chocolate, the mode of presentation is the word tablet. Tablet. Then with the meat, normally it is what? Chopped or pieces. Chopped into pieces. So we have the tranche. Tranche. That is pieces. Then the beans is normally in sachet. Sachet. Then the palm oil is also in what? Litro. But the palm oil can also be in what? Bouteille. Bouteille. That is bottles. Then the rice the mode of presentation is what? Kilo. Kilo. Nous allons lire le passage pour la dernière fois. Now we have identified, identified some keywords and known the meanings of those keywords. So we are going back to our passage to read for the last time. For the passage to be clearer now. So Madame Blay. Try to get a better understanding of the passage now that we have gotten the meaning of some of the words. The second passage, uh, the second paragraph. Okay, the third paragraph now projected for us. And then the last paragraph. Très bien. Now, what is the passage about? We have already identified from the heading or the title that it is about a shopping Madame Blay went to make. Now, let's try and get where Madame Blay went to do the shopping, the things she went to buy there, and then what happened when she went there. So roughly, it's about Madame Blay going to 
a place to make her shopping. And as usual, she has a list of items to buy. So she goes to each shop to buy what she needs because all what she needs cannot be found in one shop. So she goes from shop to shop to get what she needs. So maybe she goes to the bakery to get bread. She goes to this to get maybe uh, milk if she wants milk. So she goes to each shop where the item she needs is sold to get the item. So after she makes her shopping, she comes home. Now let's look at the passage in detail. Now that is where I am going to read for the purpose of our younger siblings. But for those informed too, I shouldn't have read because it is a reading comprehension. Yes, I know your kids don't like this aspect of the language. But believe me, you, you will need to try and overcome the fear you have for this aspect. This aspect is also a part of the exam you will be writing. So let's try to overcome the fear with constant practice. It is when we do these readings, we'll be able to acquire vocabulary to even help us write our essay and write well. So aujourd'hui, Madame Blé fait la course pour la semaine. So today, Madame Blé is going to do her shopping for the week. La liste est longue. Des paquets de sucre, six bouteilles d'huile, douze boîtes de sardines, vingt tablettes de chocolat, deux tranches de viande salée, quatre sachets de haricots, deux litres d'huile de palme, cinquante kilos de riz. So she goes to do her shopping for the week and her list is long. Two packets of sugar, six bottles of oil, that is cooking oil, 12 boxes of sardine, 20 tablets or cubes of what chocolate, that is packets or how the chocolate is packaged of chocolate, two pieces or slices of salted meat, four sachets of beans, two liters of palm oil, and 50 kilos of rice. Limpopo a twin grand surface. Limpopo is a very big place. That is, so Limpopo is the name of the supermarket or the place, the name of the place where you have all those shops is going to do this shopping. So for example, if it were Accra Mall, we will say Accra Mall, a twin grand surface. So the name of their mall or the place where she is going to do the shopping is known as Limpopo. So they are saying it is a very big place. C'est le plus grand supermarché de la ville. So it is the biggest supermarket in the whole town. On y trouve beaucoup de magasins. So one can find a lot of shops over there. Il y a une boulangerie, une épicerie, une pâtisserie, une poissonnerie, une boucherie, une pharmacie, des boutiques de vêtements et des salons de beauté. So, the shops are listed below. So we have a bakery, a grocery shop, a cake shop, a fish shop, a meat shop, a pharmacy, and then places where shops where we sell clothes, and then shops beauty where we go and then have we beautify ourselves. That is what the parlor, the saloon, where we normally call the saloon. So all these can be found in that place, the Limpopo. Dans ce grand bâtiment, il y a toujours beaucoup de commerçants qui vendent leurs marchandises et des clients qui achètent toutes sortes de choses. 
So in this big building that is the Limpopo, where the big mall, there are always a lot of people, a lot of what? People who are either selling their produce or their products and then people who are also what? Buying different kinds of things. So in this shop, you have people buying and selling. Some buying, some selling. À chaque instant, on vend et on achète. So at, at each instant, someone is buying, someone is selling. So the two things go in, actions go hand in hand. Once there's someone buying, there's someone selling. So les gens vont beaucoup, font beaucoup d'affaires. So the people do a lot of what? Business. Les boulangers vendent leur pain. The bakers sell their bread. Les bouchers vendent leur viande. The butchers sell their meat. Les épiciers vendent leur légumes. So the grocery shop sellers sell their vegetables. Les pharmaciens vendent leur médicaments. The pharmacies also sell their the Pharmas, the pharmacists also sell their medicines or their medications. Les pâtissiers vendent leurs petits gâteaux. So the cake sellers or the cake makers also sell their small, small cakes. Les boutiquiers vendent leurs vêtements. Et les marchands de poissons vendent toutes sortes de poissons. So the, they also sell in the boutique shops. That is where clothes and shoes are sold. They also sell their, what, their clothes and then the fish sellers also sell different types of fish. So that is the passage. So you have now understood the passage. Now we are going to answer the questions on based on the passage. So, répondez aux questions suivantes. Question numéro 1. Combien de paquets de sucre achète Madame Blé? Today, there are no possible answers. So, you are going to write them in the sentence form. So, combien de paquets de sucre achète Madame Blé? Form to remember, you have passed. Don't expect answers. I know someone will say, but are there no answers today? No. Form two, you are going to construct the sentence. Give your answer by constructing a full sentence. So, combien de paquets de sucre achète Madame Blé? How many packets of sugar does Madame Blé buy? Question numero 2. Try and write the question as fast as you can so that after going through all the questions, now you can answer them. Question numero 2. Combien de tranches de viande salée achète-t-elle? Combien de tranches de viande salée achète-t-elle? So how many slices or pieces of meat does she buy? How many? Does she buy? Question numéro 3. Combien de kilos de riz achète-t-elle? Combien de kilos de riz achète-t-elle? So how many kilos of rice does she buy? According to the passage. Question numéro 4. Quel est le nom du supermarché? Quel est le nom du supermarché? What is the name of the supermarket? What is the name? Question numéro 5. Quels sont les magasins qu'on peut trouver dans le grand surface? Quels sont les magasins qu'on peut trouver dans la grande surface? So what are the shops that one can find at the place that is the mall? What are the shops that were mentioned that one could find there? 
Question numéro 6. Quelle marchandise est-ce qu'on peut trouver dans les différents magasins? Quelle marchandise est-ce qu'on peut trouver dans les différents magasins? So, what are the goods or what are the kind of goods that one can find in the different shops that were mentioned? They mentioned different shops that one could find there, yes. Now, in each of these shops, they mention what one can find in each of the shops mentioned. Now, you list these goods or items that one could find in the shops mentioned. Question numéro 7. Quel commerçant peut-on trouver dans les différents magasins? Quel commerçant peut-on trouver dans les différents magasins. So what, what sellers or which sellers were mentioned that one could find in the shops that were uh, different shops. So they have mentioned some shops, mentioned the goods or items that one could find in the shops. Now the sellers, those who are in the shops selling those goods that we have mentioned, what can you mention them? So you have to make a list of those sellers too. So you can start work. Combien de paquets de sucre achète Madame Blé? Dans une phrase complète, in a complete sentence, please. Combien de tranches de viande salée achète-t-elle? Combien de kilos de riz achète-t-elle? Quel est le nom du supermarché? Quel est le nom du supermarché? Quels sont les magasins qu'on peut trouver dans la grande surface? Quels sont les magasins qu'on peut trouver dans la grande surface? Question numéro 6. Quelles marchandises est-ce qu'on peut trouver dans les différents magasins? Quelles marchandises est-ce qu'on peut trouver dans les magasins, différents magasins? Question numéro 7. Quel commerçant peut-on trouver dans les différents magasins? You should be getting ready to stop work by now. For those who want to take a glance or try and get their answers, some of the answers from the passage, I'm projecting the, par the passage paragraph by paragraph once again. So you have the first paragraph on our screen in case you need an answer from this paragraph. Then the second paragraph. The third paragraph. And then the last paragraph. Be getting ready to stop work.
Maintenant, les réponses. Combien de paquets de sucre achète Madame Blé? Selon le passage, Madame Blé achète des paquets de sucre. Oui. So according to the passage, Madame Blé buys how many sachets of and uh, how many packets of sugar? Two. Oui. So Madame Blé achète deux paquets de sucre. Très bien. Question numéro 2. Combien de tranches de viande salée achète-t-elle? So, selon le passage, elle achète deux tranches de viande salée. So, according to the passage, she buys two slices or pieces of um, salted meat. Question numéro 3. Combien de kilos de riz achète-t-elle? Elle achète 50 kilos de riz selon le passage. So she buys 50 kilos of rice according to the passage. Question numéro 4. Quel est le nom du supermarché? Selon le passage, le supermarché s'appelle Limpopo. Très bien. Question numéro 5. Quels sont les magasins qu'on peut trouver dans la grande surface? Selon les passages, on peut trouver les magasins suivants dans la grande surface. Une boulangerie, une épicerie, une pâtisserie, une poissonnerie, une boucherie, une pharmacie, des boutiques de vêtements et des salons de beauté. Yes. So according to the passage, we can find all these shops at the mall, the mall called Limpopo. These are the shops that can be found there. Question numéro 6. Quelle marchandise est-ce qu'on peut trouver dans les différents magasins? Selon le passage, les marchandises qu'on peut trouver dans les différents magasins sont... So the following are the goods or items that one can find in the different shops. Le pain, la viande... Les légumes, les médicaments, les petits gâteaux, gâteaux, les vêtements, toutes sortes de poissons. So these are the items one can find in the different shops mentioned at Limpopo. Question numéro 7. Quel commerçant peut-on trouver dans le Différent, dans les différents magasins. So, which sellers or traders can one find in the different shops mentioned? Selon le passage, on peut trouver les commerçants suivants dans les différents magasins. Les boulangers, les bouchers, les épiciers, les pharmaciens, les pâtissiers, les boutiques de vêtements, les marchands de poissons. So these are the shop sellers or the sellers in the shops that one can find in the different shops. Before we part, I would like us to go through the Keywords we identified once again. So we identified the keywords that is dealing with the modes of presentation of the goods identified. So paquet de sucre, bouteille d'huile. So now all you need to do is 
if you are buying two packets of sugar, you say what? Deux paquets de sucre. Il faut quatre paquets de sucre. So whichever number you are buying, bring the number, then packets of sugar. So bouteille d'huile. So if you are buying trois, a tray, you say trois bouteilles d'huile. Three bottles of oil. Boîte de sardines. Boîte de sardines. So if you are buying six, you say six boîtes de sardines. Tablette de chocolat. Tablette de chocolat. So if you are buying six tablets of chocolate, uh, six, that is packs of chocolate, you say six tablettes de chocolat. Tranche de la viande sale. Salée. Tranche de la viande salée. So if you are buying, the number of pieces you are buying, you state it there. So 50 tranches de la viande salée. So you are buying 50, 50 tranches de la viande salée. Sachet des haricots blancs. Sachet des haricots blancs. That is white beans. So if you are buying 10 sachets of white beans, you say 10 sachets de haricots blancs. And we also have sachet de haricot vert, that is green beans. Then sachet de haricot rouge, that is red beans. Then litre d'huile de palm, that is if you want to buy maybe 10 liters of palm oil, 10 litres d'huile de palm, 10 liters of palm oil. Oil. Then kilo de riz, kilo de riz, that is if you are buying 100 kilos of rice, 100 kilo de riz. So now you should be able to state or when you go to the market, you should be able to what? Mention the quantity of item you want to buy, especially with those we have looked at. For those we didn't look at, go and Google for more. Yes, these are some I have given you. You can Google for more. That is quantity or modes of presentation of what items to add to what you have learned today. Qu'est-ce que nous avons appris aujourd'hui? Aujourd'hui, Nous avons lu un passage dans lequel une femme fait des achats. So we have read a passage in which a woman by name, Madame Blay, went or went shopping. And she had a long list. And the list of items we mentioned or we saw them. And she went to the place called Limpopo. So the Limpopo is a place like a mall where you have different kinds of what, shops where one can get the item you want to buy. Nous avons aussi répondu aux questions sur le passage. So we have also answered some questions that were asked based on the passage we read, didn't we? Yes. Rejoignez-moi à la prochaine pour l'apprentissage de la de la langue française. Jusqu'à là, c'est merci et au revoir. Join me once again in our next lesson to learn more about the French language. Until then, it's thank you and goodbye. Joy Learning TV.